Hello my loves. So I have just spent the past six days on the first Move With Us Bali retreat and it was honestly like the most insane week ever. It was like the most amazing experience. Like met girls all over the world. It has been, it was so much fun and I am so grateful to be a part of it. But now for the second half of my Bali trip is like an actual holiday, relaxing. The retreat was so fun, but so exhausting. So now I'm just gonna spend the next few days winding down. I'm also in Bali on my own, which I've never traveled on my own before, except for like around Australia. So I'm gonna start off with a room tour because this villa is in fucking state. I'm speechless and I haven't had a proper look around yet. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me because I got here about one minute ago. Holy shit. Like this, oh my God, I actually can't. Let's do a pool tour. There's an outdoor shower. Like, genuinely dead. And then, this like, oh shit, this is my favorite view. Like, look at my living room. And then this is my little kitchen. Not that I'm gonna use it, but I actually can't. Like, what is this life? This is my bedroom. Excuse my luggage, kind of ruins the vibe. But like, this is so beautiful. And then a little mirror. Like, what? Yeah, and then a bathroom tour. Oh my god, just trip down a step. Ready for the best part? Wow. That is my shower. Like, what? I don't believe this is real life. I've got nothing else to say. Okay, so today is Thursday. So I'm gonna be here Thursday, Friday, Saturday, check out Sunday. And then I fly home Sunday night. And I didn't realize my flight was gonna be at night time. So I have to check into another villa on Sunday to like spend the day there. Cause my flight's at like 1 a.m. And I'm not gonna be walking around Bali for 16 hours with a suitcase. So, I am so excited. I've got three days here to just live my best life. And God, it's gonna be so fun. It is currently 3 p.m. I might have a quick little swim and then I need to organize a scooter so I can get around. I think I'll ask the person that like runs the villa to find me one. So the activewear that I wore on the retreat, obviously we're in Bali, it's so hot, but like I can't wear them again. So I really need them washed. I also like I packed enough activewear for every day, but like I can't take home I can't leave the activewear in my suitcase smelling like it does so I need to get it washed I've also completely run out of undies. So that's quite desperate But the guy that like looks after my villa just showed me that I actually have my own washing machine So I don't know if I should do my own washing or get someone else to work on holiday, but I will make that decision soon um, and I also need to go down to the Circle K and I need to get those little um, like power plugs for like these because the last resort had like it automatically had like the Australian one but this one doesn't and my phone is on 10% so I need to do that and yeah I think that's it I'm still so shook that this is my Power plugs. I don't need to buy them. I feel like, okay. I've been, this is my fifth time in Bali and I swear to God, like every other time they didn't have those power plugs. And every other time, like I've rushed to Circle K to like buy one. And I feel like maybe now this whole time they've always been like that. Also, like, would it be weird if I went to a beach club on my own? Like, I really want to go to the lawn in Changu, like looks over the water at sunset. But like, is that weird if I went on my own? and just like sat at a dinner table for one. I've got some crazy wardrobe space, so I'm gonna make the most of that, unpack all my stuff, and make myself at home. Okay, so I unpacked, and the amount of wardrobe space I have 
makes it like look wrong at how like it's so empty that it literally looks wrong so that's the only like sort of nice stuff I have and then I didn't bother like really making it look nice because these shelves are just so big basically like for example dresses tops bottoms suitcase like it's just too much space but we love it I wish I could have that home and even more space crazy hey, I have no idea where I'm gonna find a scooter oh wait for rent I kind of want to like do it in person not over the phone you know I got my scooter it is so much better it took me like so long to walk into town to the point where halfway I just gave up and got a um, go jack, like jumped on the back of some guy. But now I've got my scoopy. So I'm gonna go home, put on some clothes, go get some dinner. I also just went bikini shopping as well. Spent like, and they weren't even cheap bikinis, they were like, I spent $160 on three separates. Kinda cheap. Not in Bali though. Okay, so I am gonna go out for dinner. I told myself I was gonna like go jack on my meals, but I've got my scooter now, so I feel safe. But anyways, this is my fit. I can't even see, hang on. This is my fit. I'm trying to wear stuff that I didn't wear at the retreat so that I actually feel like I packed all this stuff for a reason. So my little halter top and a mini skirt, and then I need to find my slides. Anyways, dinner-wise, I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to go. I can't decide between La Baraca, which is Italian, or La Cantina, which is Mexican. I don't know. Can you help me decide? Yeah, I'm going to do some fine dining on my own, which will be fun. But I'm so excited for a fat feed. Like, the food at the retreat was so good, but it was also very healthy, so... I'm very excited to hopefully have a big fat juicy pizza. Also, so last time I was in Bali in October, I had got like severe salmonella poisoning and I was like literally bedridden for like weeks and weeks. And it was like so traumatic. I was like, never going to Bali again. That sucked. Anyway, I did my research before I came because I was like, I am not getting sick again. And I don't even want to get barley belly. Well, I mean, no one does, but I'm going to do everything it takes to not get it. So I went to the chemist and they sold out of charcoal and Travelan, which is what like you have charcoal apparently when you are sick and then you get have Travelan before every meal and it prevents it anyways because everyone is overseas that is sold out everywhere so i got two other things so i've got these probiotics probiotics plus sb and i have these before every meal and every time my stomach starts to feel a little bit weird i'll have two more so i probably had like five of them a day which is like quite excessive but I'm fine and I'm six days in. And then also with every meal, I have this colostrum. Apparently like lines your stomach and like makes you like invincible. I'm pretty sure colostrum is what's in breast milk. But anyways, these taste like milk, big little tablets. But yeah, I've been having those two like nonstop. So I'm gonna have them before I go. And yeah, can't wait. Okay, I have come with snacks. My um, toxic trait in Bali is that I wear my helmet literally everywhere. Like, for example, I went to the mini mart with my helmet on. I was there for like 20 minutes picking out snacks. It was so busy. People were giggling around me. I don't know if it's because I was literally like this. Um, and then I also walked into dinner with my helmet on. But oh. anyways, I went out for Mexican and it was so, so good. I went to La Il Cantina, maybe? La Cantina? I don't know. So, so good. It was so funny. I like ordered like three meals because I was so hungry. And the like, the waiter was like, or the waitress was like, um, are you sure? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, how about I just get you half and then you see how you feel. And then if you're still hungry, we can order more. And I was like, okay, whatever. She was wrong. I had three meals in the end. But yeah, then I went and got some snacks. So I got some um, chocolate peanut popcorn. Got some Hello Pandas. And I got this mango little like icy bowl, which 
I'm really keen to indulge on. And then I'm gonna go to bed. Like, can we just like appreciate my view from the kitchen bed right now? Doesn't that bedroom look so inviting? This mango ice cream is the best thing I've ever tasted. It's like the mango part of a wee spa, but just, just completely mango. And it literally just tastes like the fruit. It's so good. I'm like, oh my God, by the way, I love this place. Those snacks cost me like $2.80 for all of it. Dinner, I had like a big bowl of barbecue corn. I had three tacos. I had a drink and I had some like popcorn cauliflower. It was $27. Like what? And there's me on the Gold Coast spending like $100 a night at the Tropic on myself for like a piece of bread and dip. Baffles me. Oh, we're on. Good morning. Just woke up in heaven. Um, I really wanted to sleep in, but I got in such a routine on the retreat that I woke up at six o'clock and my whoop recovery is so, so bad. I'm like averaging 20%, which is like, normally I would average probably like 70. So yeah. Anyways, this morning's plans. I really want to go on a walk and I want to walk to the gym where I need to train, but I feel like it might be too far. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to train at the elite What's it called? Elite Fit, maybe? Yeah, Elite Fit Bali. It looks really cool, the gym that they set up. So it's an eight minute drive or a 20 minute walk, yeah. I'm gonna walk there and gonna train, I'm gonna try and film my session as well, if that's not weird. And then um, come back, I'll ride my scooter to Crate Cafe, which is like the best cafe ever for brekkie. Then I'm gonna come back, swim, I might get a massage later. Um, there's a place that I want to try for lunch. Not sure dinner plans. I kind of want to go to the lawn, the beach club in Changu that like overlooks the beach. And I think I might just do it on my own. Um, and yeah, we'll see. I also want to do some shopping. I also need to buy a second suitcase because not to be a snob, but I'm a virgin gold, which means I get to luggage bags and the limit is 23 kilos and my bag is way over so I may as well just buy another bag and check two in that are 23 or like two that are 20 kilos then one that's like 30 and then have to pay $100 extra so I'm gonna buy one and then I can do lots of shopping the one thing I did bring a lot of is activewear I brought 10 CSB sets so I've got a lot to choose from and I don't know what I want to wear maybe I wear pink today maybe or green. Oh, I don't know. I've got too much juice. Okay, we went the pink option, but last night, oh my god, I hate myself for it. I um, left like those big doors like that open up to outside open like all night, and my room was like obviously filled with mosquitoes. But also, a frog ended up in my room. So I've got this little fucking frog hopping around my bedroom, and I'm like about to go to bed, freaking out. Boyd is on like, te I'm texting Boyd. He's like researching the frogs, being like, don't touch it, don't touch it, because I was like tapping it to get away. Turns out it was like this Asian, like poisonous, like cane toad. So I'm freaking out all night, like scrubbing my hands, like, fuck, he's like, don't put your hands like anywhere near your mouth. But yeah, it was eventful. So moments like those, you just don't want to be alone in Bali. And then at home and here, good morning, I've got to have my. Dr. Hydrate. I love how modern villas now have this, like safe water. Let's go to the gym. Listening to a potty. I went down the wrong street. I'm here and I need to be over here. I'm like, I'm at a dead end. And I swear I just walked like 1K down this alleyway. Oh well, steps. We love steps. We've made it and it took double as long. <laughs> I'm gonna scooter home, get like a project.
this is so sick. Okay, so I'm home and I've just been swimming all morning. I'm gonna go get Brecky now at Crate. Um, also, I thought I'd show you my bikinis that I bought yesterday because I've been swimming in them. Here they are. These are the bikinis. They're from LC Swim? E L C E. So cute! Like, I can get into it. Bye! Thank you! <laughs> Have a good day! Hello! I need to get this off my head. <laughs> I can never open this thing. Oh, come on. I love how every time I'm in Bali, I go to Crate Cafe with the intention of like, it's only $4 for a smoothie and $6 for a big breakfast. So like, we're being savvy. But then, after Crate, I go down the street and I just casually spend $300 on like, stuff that wouldn't even be that expensive in Australia. Anyways, so yesterday when I bought these bikinis, I also got like a black pair of bottoms. They were like 40% off, so I was like, why not? And I like these bottoms. So then I went to this other shop and I got some more bikinis. So I got like a black top that can like match these and it's like a triangle kind of like this. And then I got this like charcoal, like gray color, which I really like, something a little bit different. And I could wear like a colored pair of bottoms. Like actually this like could go with this really well. Anyways, then I went to this shop called Fave Concept Store. Oh my God, I thought this lighting so ugly. Okay, go to the second shop. The lady was so cute. This, these were like $70 each, which like, it's genuinely a piece of fabric, but I feel like I'm on a holiday, but I don't know, I just did it. I'm buying, I'm trying to buy stuff for next time I'm in Bali. So I got this little like linen, like skirt and you like pull this and it like makes it cute. I don't know. And then I literally got this like plain white sarong and it, I don't know, it's just like really nice and like silky and that was literally $70. Like what? Oh well, oh well, I'm on a holiday. <laughs> Okay, I'm heading out for lunch. Little fit check. These are both um, new things that I bought today. This is like little skirt. And this is my grey bikini. Alright, I'm gonna go out to this like health health food place for lunch that I've seen on Instagram. Hopefully it's good and I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. I wanna get Boyd some sunnies. Um, I wanna get some more of like these slides. I feel like I wear them all the time. And maybe some like fake designer because why not I'm in Bali oh and I also need to buy a suitcase but I don't know how I'm going to transport that on a scooter back to this place I don't know yet <laughs> hello I'm home oh my god I never even know it's on my head oh, Jesus so I went crazy on the um fake Yeezy slides. We got like a gray pair and then we got a like dark brown pair. This pair and then like I've already got the cream. So we got all the colors now. I just feel like I like wearing them on like race days and stuff. And then I got Boyd five pairs of sunnies. So here's three and then there's like two more in my bag. But yeah, got him lots. Okay, so I need to do some content for a brand called With Consideration and they've sent me, I'll show you actually. I'll show you what we've got and I feel like it literally works perfect for this villa because I've got this like tan colored mini skirt and then like a black like halter top. And I feel like it works perfect in this house because everything is like brown, like brown and black. So I need to like fix this and take some photos. And if they turn out like shit, then I can always do it tomorrow. Always do it Sunday, but I feel like I'm a very like, I'm a very urgent person and I feel like I have to do everything right now. So I'm trying to get like all my content done right now, even though I've still got two full days here. Same with like buying stuff, like 
I have all the time in the world to buy stuff, but like, what if some plants come up? You know? Oh, I don't know. Anyways, let's dance. Okay, I got my pics done. Um, got so many sitting down there. Now I'm gonna go to the lawn in Changu, the Overlooks Beach for dinner. Even though I like kind of just had lunch, I think I might just have an entree and then get some snacks from the mini mart on the way home. And I might even get a massage on the way home. I don't know. <laughs> I got my massage and I'm very, very sleepy now. Um, and then I got some snacks on the way home. Same as last night, I got those like um, chocolate popcorn, but this one is granola puffs. Sounds yummy. Got another mango icy pole cream thing in a different flavor. And then I got these strawberry ice cream flavored pillows, which sound good. So yeah. And I had a garlic pizza for dinner with a Coke Ziz. I'm so ready for bed. Good night, guys. Good morning, guys. It is, I don't even know what day it is, but I just woke up, put on my active wear. I'm gonna go ride the scooter to this like field of grass I saw yesterday, cause I need to do a sprint session. I'm just kind of trying to maintain my like speed over here. So I'm literally just doing like the same thing like twice or three times a week, which is just like a couple 20 meter sprints. Nothing too crazy. And then I've got to do, um, I'm gonna to go to the gym after and I'm gonna try out a different gym. Did my research last night in bed. Cause I'm, this sounds like a bit high maintenance, but today I've got my like Ollie lifting day. And last week when I did that at Commune, they only had 20 kilo bars and I, like my hand cleans are like getting heavy now and it's such a difference like cleaning with a 20 bar versus a 15 as a girl because I'm obviously supposed to use a 15 and just like I can't like obviously can't hook grip not that I do it anyway but like I'm trying to and like the bar just doesn't whip as good and it's just like it's hard work so I'm trying to go to a gym that's like looks very equipped and the gym that I'm going to looks like what Instagram it is so I'm going to do my ollie lifting there and then I'm going to go get Brecky, come back, and then I think I'm catching up with my friend Gabby today. Sounds like a good day to me. my god guys that was the sickest gym ever like if you need somewhere to train in bali go to it's called obsidian fucking amazing by the way my active wear is genuinely a different color because i have never sweated so much in my life um so now i'm home for a swim the cleaner comes in 20 minutes so i need to sort of clean up a little bit because there's shit everywhere go get brekkie and then i'm going to watch boyd play footy on the live stream and then when i get home i'm going to put it on here while i lie but yes, need to do, need to wash this. But yeah, I filmed um, my workout that I did in the form of a reel and you can literally just see like my shorts are different color to my top because my ass was sweating that much. Hello. I had a very productive morning. I went to Brekkie to this place called Rise and Shine Cafe and it was so, so good. I got this like omelette because that's my like current obsession and um, for some reason the omelettes here are huge which is great. The meal was like so big but it didn't come with any bread and like after the session I had this morning I was like you should have seen my face when they gave it to me. I was like thank you and I was like Pah. so I had to order extra bread and now I'm so full like the thought of food makes me want to throw up but like worth it. Then after that, I went and got some fuel for my bike because I'm running low. The lady that I hired it from literally gave it to me on empty. So I've kind of just been sitting on empty the whole time. Then I did some more shopping. I also changed over some money because I'm running very low on cash. I didn't think I'd actually spend as much as I have. But then I also did more shopping. I'm in this bad habit where everywhere I go, I pretty much feel like I have to buy something. So I got this cute little like crochet skirt I didn't even try it on but thought it was cute for next time I come to Bali 
And then I got another skirt. It's like a little, um, I love how they all like wrap it up. So cute. Um, I got this little terry toweling brown mini skirt too, which I love. So yeah, I'm definitely not running low on skirts now. I've spent a total of around $400 on mini skirts here. So unnecessary. But um, brand on day one called LC Swim. They actually DM'd me saying that they want to give me some bikinis while I'm here. So I'm going to head back there later today and pick out some more, which I'm excited about because that's where... I don't want to show you my butt, but my bottoms are from and I love them. Okay, guys, I'm going out for dinner somewhere like kind of nice. It's called Yuki. I think it's nice. Seems like it. Anyways, I just don't know what to wear. I'm overthinking it a lot. Obviously, it's Bali. Like, I don't need to go all out. But I don't know if this is like, I don't know if this is like too much brown. Obviously, I'll wear like, I'll probably wear like a bikini top underneath because the wind is going to blow on the bike. I don't know. I don't know if this is like too much brown. It's also like terry toweling skirt with like, mesh top otherwise i could wear this top but i don't know let me try on something else let me let me get out some more options okay another option i don't know i feel really out of place in bali like not wearing bikinis but i just don't think i'm gonna get let in in a bikini top i don't mind this kind of want to wear like this green cook eye top but I just don't know what to match it with I don't know what goes with green like so what else can I wear I've got this like little well actually this could go with this mm, little strapless moment but then I can't wear hmm let me try it okay how about this maybe yeah, I actually think I like it. Like, just, everything just feels like it fits weird. Yeah, this go with brown. Oh, actually, it actually, does that look ridiculous? Like green and, obviously I'm not wearing it over this top. Green and brown. Hmm. Or I could wear this, which I feel is a little bit more like Bali. Maybe I won't have, the, oh, sorry, excuse my skirt, a bit lower. It was a little bit of a horror moment. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, we're wearing this. I need to go to the swim shop, pick up my free swimmers. And then I'm going to go to Yuki for dinner at hopefully around 6 o'clock. And then this is like my last, like, I leave tomorrow night. This is my last, like, proper night in Bali, even though I've got, like, the whole day and night tomorrow. So I'm going to go, like, get ice cream or dessert or, like, something after. Guys, I fell off the scooter tonight. I was trying to take a selfie, don't judge me. I'm trying to take a point five, and I went head over head of bars. I have a grazed hand. It was so fucking embarrassing. And so many people saw it. So now I'm just like in this slump of embarrassment. Good morning. So last night I like just literally crashed. I felt like I was going to pass away. So I went to bed at like nine o'clock. I didn't feel like I had barley belly, but I just knew something was wrong. So I went to sleep and I woke up 10 hours later. Um, I just have like a bit of a head cold, but I have like the symptoms of a hangover, but I have not consumed one drink while being here. Um, opened up my whoop thinking, oh yeah, I've had 10 hours sleep, which is equates to 
obviously out of 100. And I've woken up with 5% recovery. Like I have never had below 20. Not even after like eight hour days of racing. I have 5% with 99% sleep. So there's nothing I could have done. Oh. And on the Whoop app, it says that what could have caused this is stress or alcohol. So I haven't drunk and I wouldn't say I'm stressed because I'm on holiday. Thinking maybe my motorbike crash might have been my very stressful situation, maybe. But my resting heart rate is at like 80, which is so high, so I'm clearly sick. Um, and today's my last day, I actually traveled tonight. Kind of annoying, so I gotta check out of here at 11. But um, my flight isn't until 11.25 tonight, so I had to book another villa just to spend like the afternoon out until my flight because I couldn't get this one again. And I don't really wanna be walking around Bali with luggage on my own. So I check out of here at 11 and then I check into the next place, which is in the same street, not till three, which is a little bit annoying. So I'm gonna go spend the day at like a beach club um, between 11 and three. In the meantime, I need to go get some breakfast and then I need to buy another suitcase because I have so much stuff, but I just don't really know how I'm gonna get a suitcase on my scooter, so I need to figure that out. Um, and then I'll come back here, pack up, leave, drop off my bags at the other villa, and then, yeah. So, last day, I'm dreading this flight home. Okay, I've gotta leave my camera here to charge, but this is the fit. Let's go do some errands. I don't know where to go for breakfast, and it's actually like stressing me out. Maybe that's my recover why my recovery is so low, because I'm so stressed about where to eat every time. But, I want to go somewhere good because it's the last day, but I don't know. I don't trust anywhere other than the places I've already been. Okay, I'm back. I went to this place for breakfast called Copenhagen, which I wasn't like that keen on to start with. But basically, like you get this little menu and you design your own like breakfast board for like $6.90. So I got like two pieces of bread, some avocado, some eggs, fruit salad, juice. So good. Highly recommend. Then I bought myself a suitcase. It looks, it's genuinely like made of plastic, but I had to scooter with it like this. I had to scooter like this. Ah, oh, it was funny. As we are checking out, last little look at this gorge villa before I come back in three weeks. So I'm staying the same one but in Uluwatu with my friends, like in a bigger one, when I come back at the end of July. Also, how cute are my new bikinis? I normally don't really like yellow bikinis on me because I feel like they make you, like unless you're really tan, you look pasty with them, but maybe I am really tan because I like them. All right, I need to check out, like right now, I need to book a taxi, go to the new villa, bring the taxi back here, get back on my scooter and then spend the day somewhere. Stress and my phone is nearly dead. So I need to buy an adapter so I can charge my phone. In Bali. <laughs> hey guys, this is my account for the next four hours. It's actually really nice. Like that is all mine, I'll take you. Like this backyard is so big. It's like my kitchen and everything. And then it's like a double story. So this is my bedroom. So nice. Oh, a TV. And then I've got an upstairs area. Oh my god. With another living space. Guys, I forgot to show you the bathroom. This is like the best part. Not this part. But this. You can walk from the bath straight into the pool. So nice. Okay, I just like passed out on the bed for an hour or so. Now I need to go out for dinner. I cannot decide if I want pizza, Mexican, even though I had nachos for lunch, or Asian. I think I'm gonna cross out Asian, just like, the Asian place I'm thinking is like pretty much sushi and I'm a little bit nervous having like raw fish before I get on the plane because when I got salmonella last time, it was at the airport or like the meal that I had. Like I was sick on the plane, basically. So I'm thinking maybe Mexican 
I'll let, I really want, the thing is, okay, so I'm actually not that concerned about the food. I really want to have a, like, mocktail pina colada, and I know the pizza place have them. I don't think the Mexican place have them. Or even do pina coladas but i feel like actually everywhere does a pina colada and then i just get no rum anyways here is a fit check okay i am just about to leave for the airport i had mexican and then i dropped off my scooter then i accidentally stumbled into a bikini shop so i bought some more um i need to put this thing down okay these are so cute. This little like blue top. And then I got these bottoms that go with it. So cute. I can't believe I haven't come across that place. And they had it in like a teal green, like a purple, um, a red, a black. Like I'm definitely going to go back there when I'm back in July. Um, also, I love how... Balinese taxi drivers are always so early like it's 6 30 my taxi is supposed to pick me up at, pick me up at 7 and he just messaged me saying that he's here I was like I'm fucking I'm nowhere near ready anyway my flying fit let's go in the bathroom where there's better lighting I'm so full I like really force myself to eat a lot of dinner because but a long journey home but airport fit I have CSB Active Lux Singlet. Got my Lululemon flares that feel a lot fucking tighter than they did when I arrived. And then I've just got my fake Yeezy slides from the streets in Bali. Guys, story time, I forgot to tell you before. But there was um, this guy when I was at the beach club today, there were like all these like Irish and like European guys. And I was just like lying there doing my own thing. And then this guy like creepily waved at me from the pool like this. And I was like, so I put my sunnies on. And then I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Like he better not come over. And I've like been on my own the whole time, like in my own villa. So I haven't had to like face anything like that. And I put my, this ring on my ring finger while he wasn't looking, like, while he turned away, I swapped my rings over, put it on my ring finger, and was, like, lying down, like, like this. And then he stopped bothering me. So, little tip. All right, I'm going to wrap that up there. Thank you for watching my vlog, Travelling Bali on my own. If you want to do it, I highly recommend. It was actually so much fun. I'm so excited to go home, though, and see my little family of Boyd and Oakley when I get home. But was so fun, would definitely do it again, but hopefully I don't have to do it again because Wood will be coming with me. For those that are wondering why he's not here, he has footy, so he couldn't come. But all is good in the hood. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys and see you next week.